All right, welcome to another Doomsday's Crypt uh, live interview. I'm here with Jason Pitts and uh, James Stokes from uh, Voorhees, Night of the Beast. I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, I've been wanting, I've talked to Jason Pitts before. Others have seen me talk about Alone, uh, Lonely, uh, Masquerade and Lonely Echoes coming out. All those are in the link right now. But we're going to be talking about Voorhees, Night of the Beast. And we got the beast with, well, the guy I think is fighting the beast, from what I can tell with the trailers. Uh, it looks really cool. Um, welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, fantastic actor, James. I've watched you. I watched some of your stuff today. I watched your uh, your audition clips here, and also that movie you shared with me, which was Grievance. Grievance. Yeah. Yeah. You started off with a bang. Let me put it that way. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Woo, it's been a long ride. <laughs> I can believe it, man. I can believe it. And you, what do you do for work? I think I saw you on um, on another podcast, and you were your firefighter. Well, I was. Yes, yeah, I, I was for fifteen years. EMT firefighter. Um, I, I'm 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 a full time actor now. That's what I do. Oh, nice, man. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ranking out those movies, huh? I'm trying. Yeah. I signed right. some LOIs. I signed some LOIs on some pretty good movies coming up here in the next few months, and uh, yeah, I can't wait till, of course, Voorhees comes out. This is, uh, you know, I, I appreciate every day that Jason asked me to play this this character. I remember back, oh my goodness, how long, Jason? It's been what two years ago, I guess it was. Two years, yeah, it was in two uh, years. Early, yeah, we was in. Yeah, we was in Arkansas. We was having dinner, and it was like uh, we was working on another project together, and uh, in Birmingham. Might, we might have been in Birmingham the first time. Yeah, yeah. And we was in Birmingham talking, and we was just over dinner, and he said something about, hey, I got this idea, you know, about, you know, doing a fan film for Jason Voorhees. And I'm going, oh, man, well, if you ever need a Jason, I'm here for you. And didn't hear back from him for months. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, we, I think we was at another dinner, and he asked me, he said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm really doing this, and I want you to play Jason. And it's like, Dude. Well, he, yes. he picked the right dude. I mean, you're you're pretty stacked, and you have physical, <laughs> ath athletic abilities too. It's not just you're big, but even from watching uh, Grievance today, you really can. I mean, you can you can get those those swings going, <laughs> which is really important as as Jason. Yeah, I, I, well, I appreciate that. Yes, and and now playing Jason was not just as easy as as it sounds. Playing Jason. I mean, I watched film after film. I, I, I talked to people, you know, it's, it's, it's like Kane Hodder and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, there's a gate to Jason. You know, you can't just get out there and just, just walk and, and, you know, do, do whatever. I mean, Jason is, is, a, is a character that uh, is, uh, I, I mean, you got to learn how to be Jason. You can't just go out there and be Jason. So it, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah. 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 You can't just kind of, you have to have the walk, you have to do it right, or it just, it, it's got, is that like harder to do, not having lines, and you have to it, really emulate it is, Jason? It, it is hard not having lines in it, you know, and I, and I appreciate Jason giving me a cameo in, in the movie as, as well, so that was, that was really nice. Uh, you know, to where, you know, people can see my face too, but it was, it was, it's really hard to play a character where you don't talk and, and, and and all that. So in the the outfit that I the the Jason costume was absolutely phenomenal. Oh my god! It, it was uh, it, it was just, it fit me to a T. I mean, she took my measurements and made it to my body and all that stuff, and it was just amazing. I mean, you it looks great. The, the stills I've seen of you as Jason, it looks like a, a mix of all of them, a mix of part three, a mix of part seven with the chain. Um, you oh, definitely yeah. got the build yeah. for it. It's, I'm excited. Uh, Jason was telling me when we were talking about Alone, and I just watched Masquerade, and, and being a huge horror fan of him doing a Jason Voorhees movie, I was like, wow, all right, yeah, yeah. And then I'd seen you around, and I'm here like, that's the guy who's playing – Jason for Jason's movie. And I was like, oh man, that dude's got, got the build. And then I saw the trailers and it's like, yeah, this dude's going to pull it off, man. Heck yeah. Well, I appreciate that. So I hope uh, I did a good job. Jason said I did a good job, so I'm trusting in him. Well, Jason, Jason gave me, 
He didn't tell me any spoilers, but he said the first kill is going to blow me away. You just wait. Yeah. The first oh, Jason kill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, being a fan, I, I, I've grown to become a Jason Pitts fan. Um, yeah, watching no, Alone you. and then Masquerade, and I was lucky enough to have Samantha and Olivia on, and, mm -hmm. and both of them, fantastic. <laughs> I mean, they, they really did a fantastic job in each movie, and with the budget that Jason had, it's amazing what he's able to pull off. It really is impressive in its own way. It's just, I can't believe you do it on, on the budget and do it so well. Uh, well, yeah, I'm on, I'm, I'm going to tell you just something real quick. Just it's just a matter of time where this man right here, Jason Pitts, is going to be doing nothing but movies. I guarantee you that the man is, is a he he has a brilliant mind. He he has a, a a knack for for doing this stuff. He he has a great eye as far as seeing things and how to set up a scene. And, and you know, and and he picks great actors. So, so you know, it's just it's amazing. So. Well, the storytelling drives it. Like you were saying, I mean, you can really see if this man had a oh. huge budget, what he'd be able to do. There's no question. 100 percent. Yes, yes. That's the only thing missing out of this right now is these big budgets. That's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. thing missing. I'm telling you. No, no, Jason, dude, you're too humble. You're you're amazing, dude. I love you, Steph. Yeah, he. I, I get to know him and every per actor I've talked to so far. I even made a joke like the last stream. You're like, oh, why was he really, you know, cracking down the whip if you messed up? And they're like, no, no, we love Jason. We love him. We love him. Everybody seems to love working with him. Loves his absolutely has that belief in him and what he's doing. So yeah, I'm I'm a fan. I, I'm definitely a fan. Me and Jason actually even spoke, and we haven't had a chance because he was doing conventions. He's been a busy guy. He's only about in that what. Two hours, three hours you're away. You're in, so you're in, uh, you in Kansas City. Okay. You're in Kansas City, right? Yeah, I'm in the Kansas City area. So I'm, four, I'm four hours away. If we you're like, we, Joplin, uh, right? we or, can meet in Joplin pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I definitely, man. I give me yeah, I'm something. In, I'm, in, I'm in Fort Smith, so Joplin's two hours from me, which is two hours from you. So Joplin's. Oh, we we got another actor here, uh, Dennis Mallet. I've oh, had him on the quite a few times. Awesome dude, awesome guy. I really like that. I like Dennis. Lot. He's out of Florida, Stokes. right? He is yeah, out of he's Florida. In, I love, I love Dennis. Florida. Yeah, he's a great guy. I haven't met yeah. him in person yet, but uh, seen him on Facebook and I've worked with him. He, he's yeah. a great guy. He's he's funny. He's he can play. That that's a man who's got a range of characters yeah. too. I mean, he he can, he can definitely play a range. You know, and yeah, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah. He can play the nicest guy, and he can kind of he can put that anger into it. So yeah, right, so, right. And he never stops working. The man, yeah, the man is constantly has a new project. I see. I gotta like and say congratulations, Dad. Usually two, three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, he said thanks, James. He appreciates you, you as well. He, yeah, Dennis is a fantastic guy. Um, he even and and. I'm kind of blown away. He's referred me to other people who come on. Like I had Amy, Amy Cody on a few days ago and he referred her. She's fantastic too. She's an upcoming actress and I think she's going to do really well. She's got that personality and she's got the love for horror. So <laughs> I, I was a fan right away, but all right, we're talking Voorhees night of the beast. I still got to get that new trailer pulled up, but let's talk about this. Now, what direction are you going in with Jason? Because I saw the trailer and it could go in uh, several different ways, with the, which a lot of films do. Is it uh, more Jason heavy, or does it have the comedy aspect to it, or is it taken very seriously, The Night of the Beast? I mean, I, as a film, I know it's serious to you, but is it a, a comedy-driven or a we, serious? I, I wanted to, I wanted to be, have it be more serious. It's not, it's not very comedy-driven. Um, okay. But at the same I time... I don't think so. What's that? I didn't think so, not the way I've seen you story tell, but I wasn't sure because you could go in different directions from what I've seen with the trailer where you could go very serious and very brutal and very mean, and I love the concept of what I've seen or what I think might be coming because it's it's not just Jason in the movie. Right. There's there's something else there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, at the same time, it's, uh, I mean, it's, 
it's not comedy driven. Uh, I want it to be a little bit more serious, but there are some jokes in there and, and there are moments of, of levity. Um, so it's a good you mix. Gotta have, it's a good mix. You got to have that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I know the date was supposed to be around May 13th, 14th, and it got pushed off. Any, um, any clue when that one might get released or still working on the edit? Uh, not, not, not sure. We, we, it, we had a bit mm. of a tragedy in our little film family. Uh, Jason Mansfield, who was the editor um, and and partner, producing partner uh, on the film, uh, suffered a, uh, a stroke on on his uh, anniversary in, in Vegas, and um, he's recovering from that. So, um, oh, I'm glad he's recovering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's doing a lot better. Um, he's back home now, um, but I was just kind of giving him and his family some time before I started asking him. With, oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That comes first. Absolutely. Comes yeah. first. So yeah. as of right now, it is indefinitely uh, postponed. Well, we could use that time to keep talking about Voorhees and absolutely. pumping it up. And people <laughs> want to see it because I'm excited. Any Jason Voorhees movie that comes out, fan films are a lifeline right now of Voorhees, Jason. And there's been some really great ones to uh, and I'm expecting this one to be just as good because I, I do believe, and you, I've seen your work and, and the trailers and, Jay, and James Stokes. You're talking, a, you got probably one of the best guys you could you could find to play Jason Voorhees. I, I, I agree, I, absolutely agree. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, James, you've been acting for a long time now. Uh, about okay. 10 years. Yeah, I've been 10 years, you know, doing a lot of independent and short films and stuff like that. And, and I've gotten into some pretty decent roles with other films as well. You know, so uh, this one right here is just absolutely amazing. The cast and crew that we worked with, you, you just could not ask for a better. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we we uh, I mean, we live together as far as that goes down there when we were shooting it in Louisa, I mean, we, we, I mean, we just, everybody gelled so well. I mean, just everything came together and, and we kind of knew it would, but you know, when you're, when you're doing a production like that and you're doing night shoots and you're doing it in the cold and you're doing it in the wet and it, it's just, it was, you just never know what's going to occur and what, what's going to happen. You know, we did run into an issue with, with uh, generators and having lights at night, but you know what? Nobody panicked. We just put our heads together. Marsha, Marsha, uh, oh my God, it, I couldn't ask. Marsha just helped us out so much down in Louisa. And, and uh, yes, oh my God, you know, so uh, Marsha Sloan is who I'm talking about. And she, she, my God, I mean, I just can't say enough about her as far as what she did for us down there. But everybody just kept a calm head and we got things done. You know, when we was running out of blood, we had we had another place that we could go. And I, I called a guy and talked to him and he just gave us blood. And, you know, he was just uh, it was a horror. Uh, I mean, uh, a haunted house that was down the Fairplex. Like to give props to Fairplex. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. Those guys are wonderful. They, they were supporting us and, you know, helped us in any way they possibly could. So, you know, it, it was just an overall all around just a good opportunity. I mean, it was just a, a great atmosphere. And, and, and that makes a big difference. And I've noticed in, oh. the, in the few things I've seen Jason do, he always picks some of the best people. Like I said, when Olivia and Samantha came on, probably the two of the nicest, sweetest ladies you could meet. And um, All right, yeah, I know well, you don't you don't know them, so don't 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 get too close. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I believe I just me. Olivia scares me. She definitely, it, she intentionally, she plays, she definitely, um, she definitely gives me a scare and um, I, I wouldn't trust her with heels. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia is no doubt like my little sister. I mean, I love her to death. I mean, she is. And, and I, I would, I would, anything she's in, I would love to be, a, you know, in, in with her. So, I mean, it, she is just absolutely great. Yes. I love That's Samantha really, too. Uh, Samantha, Samantha's pretty scary herself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's, she's she was a she was a real cop, so she'll 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 yeah she she's nothing to 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 wimp at. <laughs> Are they both in um Voorhees? 
Uh, I, Olivia is in Voorhees. Samantha is not. She was originally right. cast as uh, Mrs. Voorhees, uh, but in the uh, wasn't able to make it. Uh, yeah, I, I figured you, you're pretty loyal to the actors and actresses that you work with, and yeah. I know you're a big fan of them as well. I, I mean, Absolutely. even before I had you come on, James, he was telling me how great you were as Jason. Like he's been excited mm -hmm. about this, and he yeah, saw like a. That's At my horror room, I, I got a lot of Jason. <laughs> that's one of the things I look for in anyone joining my team, whether it's cast or crew, is just it's just positivity. Like really positive people. Um I, I, I will pick I will pick a somebody who's just who's who's positive and a team player before uh somebody who isn't and and maybe even a little bit more talented. Uh, because that that means the world is somebody who's able to just uh uh stay stay focused and and gel with with the with the rest of the team so that is not um an accident that those these sets are like this <laughs> well I, I think i got the trailer ready to play you guys yeah. want me to throw it up yeah. there well, do we do. all right um let's see how if i got it right here um we got sound. Oh, I gotta hit play. Give me one sec. Shit ton of bodies out there over the years. John, I don't think there's anybody here. Oh, no. Welcome to Crystal Lake. Here you cannot hide. See the beauty all around you, yet someone here has died. In between the bird and sea, can you hear the screams? Something here is hunting you, even in your dreams. They call it Christmas, but bodies lay in the mud. fantastic i love that trail and i saw olivia yeah yeah she's uh, actually the lead the lead female actress in it yeah that's a good casting right there as a lead she she really was fantastic in masquerade um yeah yeah i, I can imagine that she um I, I don't care how big you are james i, I think she can take you <laughs> <laughs> i think she can well... take <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I, I have pictures of a of a runway dance off between the two. <laughs> yeah, now, she did. She did beat me in a runway dance off. There's not probably no doubt about that. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine you guys had a blast. A total oh, yeah. blast. Every time, every time we get together, it's a blast. I love these people. Yeah, I can. I can only imagine. Now we got. I want to say hi to everybody who's here. A was it. Everybody's saying that the trail looks great. Um, my buddy Aaron P. Trailer is some fire. Uh, my good friend Sabuan is here, always here to support. Much appreciated. We got our buddy Dennis Mallon here. Awesome guy. Um, Flett Lives is here. Uh, I know you guys know Kyle Curtis Flett. Awesome yep. guy. So, yeah, and I got somebody on Facebook. You can allow StreamYards to... Let me see who it is, but I will click on it as soon as I get a chance to. Oh, and Nick's saying great trailer. I agree. I, I think it looks fun. And I'm looking for that showdown. Because, I, I mean, I, I don't think I've seen that trailer yet. I know you gave me the one, and I don't remember seeing that one. I think I saw the other one from the race, and I yeah. grabbed the other one. We've been but, trying uh, to uh, keep, keep Bigfoot um, kind of hidden in the, in the promotion of it. 
um, just to kind of hold something back. We do see his face in that trailer, but it's covered up with graphics and stuff. So um, I just wanted to uh, uh, give a little tease there. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, for a fan film, I think it's a great concept to have <laughs> Jason Battle and somebody that's not Michael Myers and not, right. not Freddy Krueger. Something that could, you know, Bigfoot could be out there. It's not, I, I'm, I do enjoy fan films, you know, a good Michael Myers, Jason fight or something. In Roseblood, they kind of announced the second part for that where they kind of tease and there's more to the Michael Myers, Jason thing. But I do love the idea for Bigfoot if you with the, with the, the way you tell stories and stuff, I could see it being used really well. I've seen James is an intense guy, and I've mm -hmm. seen it with his demo reel, really impressive, dude. Really impressive. When you you got that energy, when you get, you know, Thanks, you want to scare somebody, you're gonna scare them. And, yeah, uh, no. I, and it's not yeah, just. I mean, obviously, it's your voice too when you speak. I mean, I don't think you're gonna have any conversations with Jason, but you have that intensity. So. I'm expecting a pretty good showdown in this movie. And the, the actor playing uh, playing Bigfoot, Jacob Jacob Southwick, um, also okay. Madman Fulton. He's no slouch either. So, mm. yeah these these two these two big big boys are going to collide for sure. <laughs> so what what gave you the inspiration of uh, Bigfoot against Jason? I mean, what gave you the inspiration for this story? Yeah. Um, so I when I decided I was going to do this. Um, I, I made a post here on uh, the Facebook, the Arkansas Facebook uh, film uh, page. And I, I said, Hey, I'm doing this Jason fan film. Anybody would anybody like to help me? One of the people that responded was uh, Jason Mansfield, who, who I mentioned earlier, he's the editor and a producing partner. Um, he, uh, he responded and he's like, Hey man, I'd love to do this. And, and so just in kind of my research on, on researching him, I had, I had known of, of him before. Um, uh, but I was just like researching his Facebook profile, all the projects that he had, had been worked on. And um, he is a huge um, like uh, like UFO, Bigfoot, Bigfoot yeah. like, enthusiast. Mm -hmm. And uh, he goes to all the conventions and stuff like that. So I'm sitting there scrolling through his page, looking at Bigfoot costume after Bigfoot costume. And I'm like, holy crap, it just hit me. I was like, why don't we just do Jason versus Bigfoot? Like he's a Bigfoot expert. I'm a Jason expert. Seemed like Sorry. Uh, yeah. So there's 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 more of a story than just I mean Night of the Beast. It's it's really I think we're gonna learn since you said he's an expert in Bigfoot. I'm sure there's gonna be a story or a back. You know, uh, you're gonna understand Bigfoot more. He's gonna give yeah. that sort of that yeah. knowledge. So that's yeah. that's gonna be pretty cool because I don't think it's just gonna be Bigfoot walking in strolling. And I, I yeah. the way you write stories, I got a feeling there's there's a lot more to Bigfoot that meets the yeah. eye yeah for sure <laughs> yeah I, I i can only imagine i can only imagine let's see i, I want to see the comments on facebook because some i can't see uh when my good friend Vinny boombots is here he's the guy jason that i showed you all the michael myers houses and stuff oh yeah got, that's Vinny. that's Vinny right there we got some big plans for uh for these Florida conventions. We got some big pieces coming. Some really, really cool stuff. But that's Vinny. Um, do you have horror, horror conventions or something? What's that? Do you do horror conventions or what do you do? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll be at Phantasm Orlando in mm -hmm. August. And I'll be at, um, and I got a huge area for that. And I got a 20 by 20 at, um, at Spookala in May. So I'm driving nice. from Missouri. I'm doing. A, I'm not looking forward to drives because I stuff. Don't ask me how I get a lot of it in the van. There's no way I'm going to be able to do it this time because I got even more stuff to since last October and more stuff on the way. My parents mm -hmm. live there, and luckily they've become huge fanatics, and they had such a great time at, at Phantasm Orlando last year um, that they'll let me stuff my their house with all of it until I get a, a storage. Hey, you know. says, yeah, hey, says I look like Kane Hodder. I've, I've had I've, I've had that I've had that a lot. I've had I, I, several I said people you when I first met you. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, me and Kane, me and Kane have a picture side by side yeah. now. So it, we, yeah, it's kind of eerie looking, actually. <laughs> yeah. But um, um, Vinny, he, Vinny he, said he's he's also he's also working on getting a uh, horror festival up and running in Kansas City. 
I, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to do – it'd be a small-scale one. I've spoken yeah. to a few people. And, um, you know, get – Yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll be there. there. And yeah, I, dude, I'd love you to. Um, it, it's gonna. It's one of those ones where it'll be benefiting the um, the field I work in. I told you what I work in, and it'll yeah. be something for them and for the community because there's a large large community of it here. And I think it'd just be a great time for all of them. And I'd, I'd love to have like a band play and have it a weekend thing. And uh, you know, hopefully everybody can have a good time and and it goes to a good cause for the most part. So. Absolutely. That's one of those. Things. I haven't really announced it too much. I've spoken to you know Jason about it, and it, no, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I don't mind. I just haven't planned everything out, but it should. I'm hoping by next year, it'd be you know a weekend thing, uh, small scale. Yeah, start, I, I want to start, start small. small and grow, man. I uh, yeah. those guys down in Texas, Texas Frightmare Weekend. Um, I, I've been to almost every single one of theirs, and they started small, and now they're one of the biggest in the country. So that's how you yeah. Do well, it. I wanted I wanted to hit Frightmare on the way to Florida because it's the weekend before, mm-hmm. and um, they got like the whole Friday the Nightmare on Elm Street cast with even yeah. Robert Angry. Mm-hmm. But I got all that stuff in the van. The it's mm-hmm. a few hours out of the way to or- Orlando, or I'm going to Fort Pierce. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just with all that stuff, I'd be paranoid. Then the heat sitting in the car. I was going to try to do a Sunday, and it's just, it's not feasible, unfortunately, because I would have loved to gone. And the same thing with uh, there's one in, in Tennessee that was on the way, but it's this. And I was thinking it was like the weekend before or after um, Spook Hall. It's the same weekend. Frankencon, I believe it is. I might be wrong, but yeah, it's um, in Nashville, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's the same weekend. I was thinking it was before. I was like, "Oh man, that'd be perfect." Do one weekend there, drive halfway, and then head yeah. to Florida after. And unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It never does. All right, and um, Vinny, I didn't see the the trailer. We're gonna run the trailer again before we end the stream, any anyway. So you're not gonna miss it. We'll run it again. But um, so uh, James, let me get this off the screen here. Sorry. So what are you working on now? What some of the projects you said you got a ton of them. Is there one you're really excited about? Uh, the the next uh I got a big one coming up uh called Campfire. It's gonna be shot. We'll be in Vegas. Uh probably be in Vegas for a mm, pretty good while. Um that's that's where I'll be headed there. And then um yeah, I've got um it's on um we're still it's in with COVID and stuff, it's still in the works, but I got over in Bulgaria, uh, Station 211. Uh, that's with Eric Roberts. Uh, that's on my IMDb page as well. Uh, got that one coming up. I've got a Western that I signed an LOI on out in California that I'll be working on um, somewhere probably in midsummer. summer uh, Got another Western that I'm doing in uh, Hopkinsville, Kentucky at a place called Copper Canyon. Uh late april i think it is uh that's just uh probably you know a week worth of work there uh, but i've got some westerns that i'm doing i like the cowboy genre as well as a horror genre as well the western so um uh, but i'm doing some stuff like that and i signed some lois on a couple of other other big films over 10 million dollars that i can't say a whole lot about right now. wow man sounds like things mm-hmm. are really hey, taking a western over. horror film <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, I've got a Western horror film that I'm doing. You can't say a whole lot about that either, but yeah, it's 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 a Western horror film. I it does deal with. Uh, on, but I ain't gonna tell you guys nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got a whole lot going on, but I can't say a whole. No, and just some things I can't say because you know, of course, it's like anything else. They don't want they don't want the stuff out there yet, and 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 I understand that. I mean, you want to keep things under wraps and, and until things come to a, a head and, and right. you know, what's going to happen and stuff like that. Cause in this business, like Jason and everybody else knows things can happen in a heartbeat and you don't have anything. So you don't want to get people hyped up about it too much. And then something happens and it don't, you know, you want to make sure you got funding. You want to make sure that you got locations and casting and stuff like that. And being a producer on a lot of these, like, like I am producing and acting in a lot of these films that I'm doing now, it, it it's, it's, it's a lot that you gotta, you gotta watch and, and make sure that is taken care of before you put things out there. So I hate telling people, Oh, I'm, I got a lot of stuff coming, but I can't tell you about it. 
I hate doing that because people go, oh, come on, you know, just tell me. And it's like, no, I can't, I can't tell anybody, but it's, 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 it's hard, you know, sometimes to, to do that, but you have to do that. Or, you know, these LOIs and NDAs that you signed can be, in, you could be in breach of them. And I don't want to do that because you get in a lot of trouble and no, I don't want to be blacklisted right. or anything like that. So I would yeah, just tease so, you. Yeah. Okay. I got a lot of stuff on my IMDb page that I can talk about. Anything that's already on my IMDb page, whether we've done it or not, I can go ahead and mention that because it's out there, you know, so people can go and see it. So, and that's what I like for people to do: go to my, you know, my Instagram and my IMDb page and all my social media, and they can watch everything that I do. I put pictures up, or I put, you know, I put things up that's upcoming and stuff like that. So, that that. That's very, and I got a link tree that I can send to you, and you can post it on your website or whatever, and then people can go to that and see everything that I do. Absolutely, I, I definitely want to post anything you got. You let me know, and I'll make sure I post it in the Doomsday's Crypto uh, Facebook group. I, we got a great I appreciate following that. there, and uh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah, I was, that. I was gonna say I, I told you I watched your demo reel, and I could tell, yeah. like, you know, um, any sort sort of war movie. Uh, you're, you definitely, you could tell you're intense about them. I could tell you like Westerns, although there was one clip where you're riding the horse. I think the horse should have been riding you, man. You're <laughs> big dude. That felt bad for that horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to make a joke, I, but yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You need one of those, uh, the, the, uh, Anheuser, the Budweiser horse is for you. Well, the know? Budweiser horse, yeah. <laughs> Big draft horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, man, I'm excited for I, I'm so excited for Borges, though. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for the yeah. fans, and, and and that's what's really cool, and, and the fact that you're playing Borges, and then Jason's written and directed it, I can't imagine it's not going to be fantastic. Well, you know, you know, Jason is Jason. And people love yeah. Jason. People love seeing him kill. But this is one thing that I want people to, when they watch the movie, and to really, to really concentrate on, is the writing of this, the story itself. What, what Jason, what Jason Pitts, I, I, you got there's too many Jasons here. So oh, Jason. what Jason Pitts <laughs> brought to this, the the story behind Jason and Bigfoot and every and every. Every character in there was methodically thought out. And just, just I want people, when they watch the movie, don't just think about the kills that, that Bigfoot or Jason or whoever does. Think about, listen and watch the writing of this thing. It's amazing. The script was absolutely amazing. And that's props to Jason Pitts all the way around. It, no, man, I, I, always, I will always do this, and you know that. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's not something... It's not because I'm in the movie. It, it doesn't matter who I, because I'm in the movie. The writing itself in this movie is amazing. So, and, and I just and it and it goes for everything. Masquerade, oh my god, was amazing. The cast in that was amazing. The everything alone, alone was amazing. I mean, I can't say enough about this guy. Jeez, I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time, and he's that's all he's going to be doing. It's going to be in. He's going to be in the movies, man. Give this man a budget and he can do anything. That, that I mean, alone Dude. It was a low budget movie, but the story was co coherent. The, it was it was a good story that built off mm -hmm. of. And then Masquerade. It's a you know anybody who doesn't know about these movies, Alone and Mas and Masquerade, and then in the upcoming uh, Lonely Echoes. And I know you said the last the fourth movie. You already have a title for it. I don't it's know if you want to say. What's that? It's called Unmasked. Unmasked, that's right. So all these four stories, they're they they're about alone's what thirty minutes, 33 give or take, thirty three minutes, and it's a great journey. The uh, the it's basically two actors beating off each other. There are others in there, and I've told you the guy who plays the sheriff. I thought was really good too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about that, and the that guy who plays who's the convenience store worker. Man, he shines. Yeah, that he should be alone. Yeah, he's yeah, he was alone. something else. He, yeah, I was. Now that's a supporting Oscar nomination. Not a very good convenience store clerk, clerk though. He doesn't notice too much. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's just a, the thing I love about it was 
you know, I especially knowing the budget that you use, the story like Jason was or James was saying was it it flows, and even leading it to a uh, masquerade, it flows. Everything flows so well, and I'm st- I can't wait for Lonely Echoes because if if you watch alone, which you can watch on YouTube, I got these links there. Oh, uh, yeah, I took you- it down from YouTube. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah, I took it down because uh, uh, some stream some of the, the the streaming services are starting to pick it up. Oh, okay. You know, I yeah. should have put the other one, and I didn't even think about it. It's fine. Um, well, the link the link that you posted still works. It's it's just private now. Um, so well, if, well, I will t- I'm going to take it off after the yeah. stream, and I'm going to put on the so one for us. Uh, I even downloaded. It. I watched it for you on. Um, Any, what's the other anybody, one? Anybody who wants to watch alone can watch it on Plex now. Plex. Um, but yeah, it's it's streaming on Plex, and uh, Tubi also picked it up. Um, it's oh. not on Tubi yet. It's in the process of of like being uploaded and all that stuff. So as soon as Those it are- is available, I'll make a post and you can share it if you want or or whatever. But yeah, right right now it's only on uh, it's only on Plex. I'll tell you one thing about Plex. I never heard of it until I knew Alone was on there. I downloaded it. I watched, I watched you, I watched mm-hmm. Alone again, and I'll tell you guys, Alone's on there, and uh, the best way to find it, and I found is look up Jason Pitts, it'll yeah. take you right to Alone, because, you know, you know how it goes, there's like Alone, they'll bring all the big, bigger budget ones up there, mm-hmm. but if you look up Jason Pitts, it'll pop right up for you, and I'll tell you, Plex is a fantastic streaming service, I found some great ones on there, uh, yeah. Frank and Hooker. I haven't mm-hmm. seen that in years, and somebody said it was on Plex, so I, I looked at it. And Tubi, uh, one of my buddies, uh, uh, Stephen Plug, uh, he does the the Midnight Hour, or not the Midnight Hour. He does. Uh, uh, I'm I'm drawing a brain fart, but we, we were talking about Tubi the other night, and uh, man, I'll tell you that Tubi is is great too, especially with horror and the indie indie projects. I think you're you're onto something in the fact that they picked it up. Uh, that's the two that I'd say I'd watch. And over HBO, eight over at Netflix, over Hulu, and those are paid services. I watch Tubi more than anything else, and now yeah. I've been watching Plex. So Plex got a subscriber, especially for me, just because awesome. of you mentioned it. I'd never heard of it. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It's uh, it's Plex with a P, Aaron. P Plex. Yeah, um, P L E X. You got it. And you can find it on your apps. It's even if you got a PlayStation 4. I looked it up on my PlayStation 4 or 5. The app's there. It's a new app uh, on there. You can get it, put it on your PlayStation or whatever you got, laptop. I'm not sure if it's on Xbox, but I know a lot of people have their game systems. And uh, my game system usually plays like Tubi and, and whatnot. I don't even use it to play games anymore, but I'll tell you. Watching Tubi and now Plex. I'm a fan of Plex, and yeah. congratulations on and, both. Uh, of oh, thank you so much. And uh, Masquerade. I'm right now. I'm currently getting it uh, closed captioning for it because um, they don't they don't take anything without closed captioning. Um, so once once that's done, then uh, I'll start shopping Masquerade out to the um, streaming services as well. But hopefully, with two of them on multiple uh, streaming services, uh, they'll start being able to generate some uh, some revenue for you know other films that is the goal like um alone alone has only been on one station or one channel on plex for about three weeks now and i'm it's forecasted like eighty dollars so yeah how many views has it gotten do you know probably not enough not not what it deserves honestly yeah um and i got these in the links anybody who's watching on youtube because we're on youtube and facebook um check out on Check out uh, the uh, description I got. Uh, don't do it alone. We're going to watch that on Plex, so don't do that. But if you guys, I think, I'm pretty sure Masquerade's only got, or not Masquerade, Lonely Echoes only has, what, a week left on its Indiegogo project? Days. I just looked it up uh, in the uh, interview I did before this with with Aaron, actually. <laughs> okay. But um, one of the perks, one of the perks is, if you uh, support, uh, if you support uh, Lonely Echoes, you get to you get to uh, a link to watch Masquerade early. Yeah, and it's, it's a and I'll tell you one thing: it's fantastic. It's, it's a five dollar perk, and I will email you the uh, private link to where you can watch Masquerade. 
Oh, I already got it. I've seen it. <laughs> oh, yo, you're talking to I anybody who don't. Know. I thought you were talking to me. Oh, the people no, in the audience? All your viewers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but guys, definitely support it. It helps guys like yeah. talent like Jason Pitts and his actors and actresses that are in the film. And I, I got it. Alone was fantastic. Masquerade steps it up that next level. You're definitely going to want to watch that. And I can't imagine what Lonely Echoes is going to bring. A lot of fun. And uh -oh. Voorhees as well. Voorhees. Oh, Voorhees is, is dude, I, I'm stoked for that. And, you know, most importantly is your editor gets healthy first. And 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 I'll, it just makes you more. The best things come to those who wait. I grew up in that time. So to, to know that it's coming and know that James is in it, yeah, I can't wait. And you know what? Let's. I say we play the trailer again. All right, go ahead, do it. Let's I could watch it, it all day. <laughs> me too. Me actually. Too. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me uh, figure it out again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I? Oh, I booted myself. That's why. Here we go. All right, guys. Here's the trailer. Anybody who missed it the first time. That. Is I think that's Jason's critter cam test feed, Jason Mansfield's. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that's his critter cam that he has. Yeah, that's not it. Oh, oh, critter. Cam. Oh, do we go to? The, oh, probably went past the other one. <laughs> <laughs> a critter cam. I, well, hopefully they enjoy critter the cam, you know? <laughs> Here we go. There it is. Yeah. Oh, this is the fundraiser trailer. Oh, is it the, is it the wrong this one again? Really yeah, this is a old one. All right, well, I got the other one. Let's go for it. Oh, we'll watch both trailers. There's a legend in these parts. The lake. This place is cursed. A death curse in the form of an unstoppable monster. His name is Jason. Anyone who enters this place meets a brutal end at his hand. It's been years since anyone has dared to venture into his woods. But he's still out there, waiting. But he's not the only bitch out in these woods. For he's a mighty crazed fellow, for he's a mighty crazed fellow, for he's a mighty crazed fellow. And everyone's going to die. I honestly love that trailer. I like that yeah. one too. They're both great, man. I'm going to find the other one. one we, we did that one for our first uh, fundraising campaign. That was in the very, very beginning. We hadn't shot anything. We hadn't shot a frame mm -hmm. yet. So that was just all... Honestly, that was all Jason Mansfield. Uh, he, uh, I, I recorded the uh, uh, the monologue with a local actor um, here in here in Arkansas, and um, and and he did. And Jason Mansfield did the rest, ed editing all all together. I'm not sure where he got the the footage of the people in the in the camp and everything, but <clears throat> I think I got the other trailer ready now. I think I I think I got it. <laughs> all right. This is the right one, right? No, this is the first. The Look, first. One. Mark has not. Right he hasn't slept through the night since he's moved in with me. <sighs> is this one we this just watched? Idea. You ready to do this? You shouldn't go in there. Yeah, if you go, you do. You're all doomed! 
You don't think he's really out there, do you? All I know is there's been a shit ton of bodies out there over the years. I'm more inclined to believe the legend than not. Well, that's a fairly expensive question, John. I'm not sure you want to pay that. Get out of hell, you son of a bitch! Well, watch your cops. Give me a hand. I expect we'll find more bodies. All right, that was, I, I don't care. We're going to watch all of them. They were a lot of fun if you <laughs> ask me anyway. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with them. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let me, uh, we don't want you to see me like that. There we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to find the other one. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, the trailers, I don't care. All of them are great. I like the narration in the in the other one I played. But I am going to find uh, what I did wrong here. I Let's see. Fundraiser. Oh, here we go. Music. Yeah, that's the one. I can tell by the, the – Yeah, the music. I don't know what happened. It, it was should have been the first one on there, and uh, I guess the critters kind of screwed around with it. Yeah. Or some wires. Okay. Aaron T is asking who's taller, taller, Jason Voorhees or Bigfoot? Oh, I, I, I'm guessing Bigfoot. Yeah. That Bigfoot. would be my, my initial guess. All right, here we go. Let's play this trailer. Here's the most recent, guys. Yeah, shit ton of bodies out there over the years. John, I don't think there's anybody here. Oh, no. <coughs> Welcome to Crystal Lake. Here you cannot hide. See the beauty all around you. Yet someone here has died. In between the birds, see, can you hear the screams? Something here is hunting you, even in your dreams. They call it crystal, but bodies lay in the mud. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite trailer. I, I love the look of Jason in that dude. You look, and you can you can see um, from this trailer the way that that Jason moves, the way that James plays him is just a hundred percent on point. Um, I mean, you don't see everything obviously because we're saving a lot for the film, but just from these little clips, you can see just the head, every every movement. Um, is 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 perfect james so awesome job <laughs> thank I you mean, so much all that looks great and the look of jason too that outfit must have been awesome Ooh. seeing yourself in the mirror and on film with that dude it is so awesome charlotte tempe's uh she yeah. is the one that made it and oh my god man she is absolutely amazing fx artist i, I love her to death uh she's just I mean, everything was pinpoint and some of the work that she's done after Jason, I've seen some of the stuff that she's working on now. Oh my, she just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. She's, she's actually, uh, she, she's in a contest right now where she, she, yes. submitted, she submitted her, uh, her work from, from Voorhees and, and the winner of this contest, um, uh, gets something like $10,000. 
Um, yeah. right now, I think right now she's in fourth place. Um, if you go, mm. if you go to my, my wall, I'll, I'll share it right now. Send like, and, and if you, if you can take this link that I share, I'll, I'll even send it to you. Everybody can vote for her for free one time a day. So, um, if you like support Voorhees, support her as well, because, uh, be absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. She, it'd be awesome if she could win this thing. Well, I, absolutely. I'm done. I'm done. Send me the link and I'll make sure we yeah. put it up in the I'll, Doomsday Crypt group. I'll Guys, so if you're right now. on YouTube and you're not following the Doomsday's Crypt group, go to the Doomsday's Crypt group. I can actually post it in the chat. Um, I think. See, I'm learning this stream on this thing. So it, it, says says uh, it says that she's currently in fifth place. So she needs she well, let's needs get her to number one. Let's get yeah. her to number one. I just sent you the link in, in yeah. our group chat that we have. All right, let me. Um, I'm going to drop it in the in the Facebook link and the YouTube like channel. So anybody watching there, I'm going to drop it for you guys. Um, yeah, please vote for her, y'all. Please vote for her. All right, I'm copying the link now. I'm going to drop the link in YouTube, and then we're going to drop it on Facebook, guys. I bet you, Jason, be all right, and James, if you guys stopped and went and make that vote right away. So I'm going to drop it. I'm in the. The Facebook group, we're dropping that link right now in here. Yeah. And then I will drop it on the YouTube one. Here we go. There's the link and vote. <laughs> yeah, Make so you sure can, we thank vote. You. you can do one free vote for her a day, or uh, uh, if you want to vote for her more than that a day, uh, it, it does cost a dollar a vote after the first one. The first one's free, though. I think she's worth a dollar. Absolutely. I think she's worth a dollar a day. I think we can all do that, guys. Let's help these guys. I help everybody, all the talent in there. And that's the cool thing I, I really want to see with Jason and, and also James. The people you work with, uh, I see, like, James, uh, what you do and, and and the talent you have and the talent you've worked with. And then Jason, the talent he brings to the table. I think you've got a great team of talent you've put together that you work with, Jason. And I see, like, There's even no with doubt. Lydia, um, and, and, and also with James, that you're working. And Samantha, can't leave her out. But yeah. all these people are really talented, really, really yeah. talented. And the group just keeps growing and growing. More people want to, you know, it's amazing. All right. It I dropped it also in um, the YouTube group. So, guys, awesome. let's help. Let's let's help out this team player. You know, let's let's make sure this happens. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, unfortunately, I wish I could talk to you guys all night. I really do. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And, and you know, I want you, you come back on when Borges drops and we can talk cool. about that. You know? Absolutely. Anytime, man. Oh sure. man, you guys are great. I've, I've always enjoyed talking to Jason. Me and him have to run into each other at some point. I'd love to run into you too. Um, maybe we'll talk or something. we can, we can do it. Yeah. Yeah, brother. I, I, I've had a blast with you guys. It's it's been awesome. I can't wait for Voorhees. Guys, I'm gonna keep you updated in the group. I know Jason will keep us updated about when Voorhees drops. Support Masquerade. It's on Indie uh, excuse me, Lonely Echoes on, on Indiegogo. Yeah. And you'll get a free link just by five bucks. It's like going to the movie, you rent to the movie store. And really you're getting two for one. You're getting both movies. You're, you're getting a double one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Supporting one and getting the other, yeah. Yeah, and you're and you're supporting a really talented filmmaker, and you're you're supporting a talented cast. And the more Jason can grow, the more he can do game roles, and and these guys make some real money doing what they're talented at. I mean, I know James is taking off, and uh, Jason, I know he's going to take off. I know he wants to get on the Walking Dead, which they do need writers badly. <laughs> yes, I, that would be a dream job. That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I bought three of those Negan statues when they were on sale for a hundred bucks. They couldn't give them away, so I'm hoping oh, wow. the Walking Dead can have that re, the re uh, rebirth. Maybe I'll bring you one. Okay. Uh, you can have one. I got three of them. I don't know what to do with, but I'll bring one to the convention. I still got them all boxed up. I bought them as an investment. Those mm -hmm. figures tend to just resell more than my masks and all that other stuff. But you know, <laughs> whatever people like. But hey, guys, awesome. thank you so much. Uh, James, awesome meeting you. Jason, as always, yeah, dude. Nice hey, to meet guys. you, too, John. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Chad. All right. All right. All right bye, everybody. Later. Bye-bye.